So ladies and gentlemen, after seeing what has happened in Bangladesh, many of you approached me and asked me to make a similar video about India. Will something similar happen in India? Will Narendra Modi also be forced to step down or will he go and flee somewhere just like uh, Sheikh Hasina had to take refuge in India, at least temporarily for now? Well, irrespective of what happens to Modi ji, today I have nothing good to share with you because the time from 11th August till 17th of September, which is Prime Minister Modi's birthday, this time is not the best period for India. This is a period where a lot of difficulties could be there in the government for Modi ji and India in general. It's not a nice period. So I wish I had better things to tell you today or as an Indian, but unfortunately not. And there are things which I will tell you today which might seem a bit violent. So if you if you are not ready to hear, you know, tough things, then maybe you should not be watching this video, all right? And there are many questions which I'll address here. You know, will, will there be emergency in India or what will happen, all right? So I have broken down this period into three scenarios and I will speak about all the three scenarios. So every second and third scenario is worse than the previous one, okay? So if I say in scenario two, certain things can happen, it means whatever can happen in scenario one, along with that, these things can happen. And in scenario three, all the previous scenarios and the worst can happen, all right? So in my opinion, scenario one will be the most likely. Scenario two is an extreme scenario, which may or may not take place. To some extent, it could be. And in my opinion, it will not be in full. And scenario three is the worst case which can happen. There is one percent chance for it, but who knows? It can happen or it may not happen. Now, when I see something astrology wise, and uh, it's very difficult to actually know how will that reflect in the ground, all right? But because I see, so I am telling all the three scenarios here, and also uh, in my Facebook community page, I had predicted that. Joe Biden may not be the presidential candidate and also India has a good time internationally till 11th of August. So you have sent me your greetings for those predictions. Thank you very much. And uh, we can see India has had a very good experience in the Olympics. And I think as I'm making this video, Neera Chopra has got a sil silver medal. So congratulations, Neera Chopra. And let's now get to the business. All right. So what are the scenarios? So this period, 11th August to 17th September 2024, this period can be a violent period for India also, just like Bangladesh. Okay. Now, what are the scenarios that could play around? But before that, I'll give you the worst days. So during these days, major things could happen. So the worst days in the month of August are 11th, 14th, 18th, 21st, 25th, and 28th. So these six days are the worst days. Major problems could happen. Then in September, 3rd, uh, 3rd then 6th, 10th, 13th, and 17th. These five are the worst days till 17th of September. All right. So that means there could be extra problems in these days, unfortunately. So now, why am I making this video? It's not just to make a political prediction, but I'm making this video so that you you take precaution and be careful when you go to sensitive areas, wherever there are, there could be communal clashes or you know ethnic clashes, okay? Or in general, where there is not good law and order, you need to be careful, all right? So what is the first scenario that could be likely? The first scenario that which I think now, Within this scenario, everything may not happen. I mean, most of the things could happen. Okay. So, first is, you know, there could be terror attacks. <clears throat> and, or there could be border skirmishes, like, yeah, Doklam or something like that, you know, uh, as it has been happening with China. Or there could be some refugee influx from Bangladesh. Or, as usual, Pakistan and India. In the LOC, there could be some problems. Now, it could be from 
two of these countries or one of these countries or all the three, you know, and along with that, there could be some major terror attacks <laughs> or it could be one of them. You know, so again, as I said, it's very difficult to say what will happen, but there could be some issues with the border and terrorist attacks. Okay. Now, number two, there could be fresh new protests against the central government during this time, which could turn a bit violent. Okay. So then, it could happen that the central government is trying to curb these protests, protests, control them, and then you know people are dying in that. Okay, this is this is probable. If so, if some new protest starts during this period, then it is very likely it could turn violent. Okay. Now number three, there could be communal or ethnic violence in some area, in some sensitive areas, or in some specific states not everywhere it's not that you know the whole country will be burning but in some sensitive areas it can happen all right so i'm saying it again if you are planning to go to some sensitive area then please exercise caution all right and in this people people can die unfortunately number four there could be fake news and misinformation which can spread like wildfire which can lead to riots and then it can lead to arrests and all this, you know. So, again, be watchful of the news that you watch, okay. Either it's in YouTube or in the TV, make sure you verify it to, to the best of capacity. Don't just see something and say, oh yeah, that's it, okay. Even if I say something, you must verify. <laughs> all right, so keep a watch on misinformation and fake news. Number, the next is, Internet could be suspended temporarily in some regions and curfew could be imposed temporarily in certain areas because the situation can get out of control somewhere. And then the next thing which could happen is uh, there could be international condemnation for India from you know, the foreign nations, you know, especially the developed countries like the United Nations in general, then in countries, you know, the USA, then UK, then the European Union, Australia, Canada. So they could come and, you know, keep lecturing India and, oh, India is democracy, you should take care of human rights and all these, that, blah, blah, blah. The usual things that they keep always doing, which they themselves never follow, but they will do that, okay? They, they will most likely do it. And uh, you will see these things will be blown out of proportion and, you know, it will be shown as if, you know, India is the worst country to ever exist, all right? Even uh, e even if there are already so many problems, like in UK, there are riots happening, right? <clears throat> then in US, recently President uh, Donald Trump was shot, you know, and anyways, with the UN, you know, they have completely failed with the Israel-Gaza situation to control it, Ukraine-Russia war, but still they will lecture uh, India as if, you know, they are all scot-free, okay? So this is unfortunate, but this will happen. If there are violence or if there are killings, okay? Or if somebody dies, even if the government is responsible directly or not, but they will blame, blame the country, okay? Last but not the least, there could be some diplomatic setback for India at a geopolitical level. So this could happen. So for example, uh, there is a leader which uh, favors India, but then that person is not winning the election or something like that, okay? But this I don't see is at a, uh, it as a very serious issue, but could could happen. Okay, or some uh, pro India country may take some you know anti India stance or something like that. Okay, <clears throat> so this is scenario one, which I think is most likely. So some of these or most of these or more than this can happen. Okay, now scenario two is all these that I discussed and more than that could be probable. So there is a probability of all these things happening. Scenario two, it is still probable, okay, but it's a worse uh, if, if the situation gets worse. So number one, there could be extreme violence in some states, okay, which could lead to imposition of precedent rule temporarily in some states, especially you know border states, and there could be extreme lawlessness, okay. So therefore, if you are going to border states, please exercise caution, all right. Then the next is, uh, there could be major escalation of conflicts in the border, which could lead to, you know, strong retaliation from India, okay? So there could be a war-like situation with Pakistan or Bangladesh or, you know, 
not Bangladesh, I think, but yeah, certainly with China it could be. Okay, could be with Bangladesh also. You never know. Okay, so it will it could be like you know like something like Pulwama happens. Okay, and then India retaliates. Okay, Bala Kotiar strike or whatever some some other place. Okay. Number three, uh, prominent leaders could be jailed. Okay, so yeah, so I had also made the video on Sri Rahul Gandhi ji's uh, period till June next year. In that also, I said that for him, the period till thirtieth of August this year is extremely difficult. So now I am not saying that he will go to jail one hundred percent, but his period is very tough. So you never know what happens, right? So he or you know some other political leader. Maybe you know could be jailed for you know doing whatever. Anyways, so this is a likely scenario that could create a lot of unrest and you know tension and mayhem in the country. Then number four, there could be you know because of this massive bloodshed which happens, there could be like you know massive international humiliation that India faces. You know every <clears throat> every TV channel like you know CNN, MSNBC, ABC, Al Jazeera, BBC. Uh, they are all discussing about India, so it's you know like India, 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 and any time you open, it's like only India is visible there. You know, as if you know everything else in the world is fine, okay? and India is the worst country to live. Okay, so it could go up to a massive level, and you know, uh, US, uh, UN, or whatever, some big country could you know impose sanctions on India because of you know this bloodshed if that happens. Or uh, the next thing which could happen is uh, there could be some serious health problem or demise of a very prominent personality. Right? Uh, this is again not likely, but yeah, it could. And that could lead to unrest, okay, in the country. And last is there could be major diplomatic uh, failure, okay. So suppose um, a very, 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 very pro-India country suddenly becomes like completely anti-India. Okay, it could happen. So and it goes to such an extent that the relations are difficult to normalize again. Okay, so on the diplomatic front, on the border front, also these problems could occur, right? And now scenario three, which is culmination of all of these scenarios, and worse than that, this is. This is very unlikely, one, but there is still one person possibility. So scenario one plus two plus all this, two things I will say. There could be cracks within the NDI alliance, the National Democratic Alliance, which is currently, you know, the BJP, uh, JDU and so many other parties. There could be cracks because of all this, you know, violence or whatever, you know. They may say we don't want to, the allied partners of BJP may say we don't want to uh, be there with you and then the government might fall okay so this is one person possibility but could happen or there could be strain you know so some party could go some party could join the India back suddenly you know there could be no confidence motion or there could be re-election or something like that may not happen literally but it might start okay now it may not happen tomorrow but yeah if the situation is out of control it might happen okay so cracks within the India lines possible. And second, martial law or you know emergency or whatever as you like to say that could be declared in the entire country for a short period of time till 17 September or maybe a bit after till then also um, you know, because the situation in the country has gone out of totally out of control and nobody is able to figure out. So maybe. Then the government and the president might decide, okay, it's time to do this, all right? But again, these two things are very hypothetical, uh, not exactly hypothetical, could, could be, but the poss possibility is very, very, very less. So in my opinion, in my realistic assumption uh, and the analysis, scenario one is very likely and some parts of scenario two could happen. And if it gets very extreme, all the scenario two uh, points can play out. And unfortunately, if it gets too extreme, then scenario three might also play out temporarily. All right. So therefore, please exercise caution and uh, take care of yourself and share this video with Indians and analyze and 
make sure that you protect your loved ones all right thank you so much for your patience if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and for personalized horoscope consultations you will find it in my description section below jai siara may god protect everyone